that maximize our food security and self-sufficiency. President Uru Kenyatta who spoke in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, when he delivered the progress report of the African Union Peace and Security Council at the ongoing 35th ordinary session of the Assembly of Heads of State and Government of the AU, called upon African leaders to address the increasing political instability in Africa. Despite various UN-AU resolutions and decisions, the, deci the situation in Western Sahara remains tense and volatile, especially following the military tensions between the Kingdom of Morocco and Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic. The Council noted with deep concern the resumption of military confrontation between the two parties and stressed the urgent need to reinvigorate efforts to facilitate a definitive resolution of the conflict in conformity with the relevant provisions of the AU Constitutive Act. Despite the restrictions imposed by COVID-19, President Kenyatta said the African Union Peace and Security Council had continued to discharge its mandate virtually, having held 85 meetings to address concerns in Burundi, Central African Republic, Chad, Ethiopia, Guinea, Libya, Mali Sahel, South Sudan, Sudan, Western Sahara, Somalia and Comoros. The first meeting, which was held in March 21 and chaired by myself, addressed sustainable peace in Africa, focusing on climate change and its effect on peace and security in the continent and on the implementation of paragraph 15 of the 14th Extraordinary Summit on silencing the guns and the situation in Western Sahara. Earlier, President Kenyatta, who arrived in the Ethiopian capital on Saturday morning, witnessed the transfer of African Union's chairmanship from President Felix Shekedi of DR Congo to his Senegalese counterpart, Macky Sall, during the opening ceremony of the two-day summit. <laughs> Dan Kaburu, K24, Weekend Edition.